So I have a student on one of my prior YouTube clips who asks, is it worth it to use Anki for step two CK? It would be amazing if you could make a video about this. I know many of you guys watching this are studying for step one, okay? So I will quickly address, should you use Anki for your USMLE? Before I get started, allow me to be a quick asshole, tell you to subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Hit the like button and find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, link is down below. Now, regarding Anki, for step two and also step one, the majority of the time, for the majority of students, Anki is a big waste of your fucking time, okay? And it's not to say Anki is not effective. It's not to say there's not a time and place for Anki. It just tends to be the case that across my nine and a half plus years of tutoring, that Anki tends to be a big time drain for students where they convert every little fucking detail they study into an Anki card, and that in turn impedes them from just making progress through QBank and the NBME exams, okay? Now, as I said, there's a time and place for Anki. Let's say pharmacology, okay? So Anki can have its uses. It's just I have to explicate the strong caveat that as a general blanket resource, Anki, it's a time drain and I do not recommend it for students, okay? When I Skype with a student, they say, should I use Anki? I'm usually like, no, I don't want you using Anki. I want you just becoming comfortable with moving on, okay? You have to adjust your set point for what is subjectively sufficient, that you feel like you've absorbed the info decently enough and then you can move on. You have to adjust that baseline where you can just allow yourself to move forward and recognize that remembering, forgetting, remembering, forgetting, that's the normal process of preparing for the USMLE. That no matter how high you're scoring, you're constantly going to be forgetting things you're learning. That's normal, okay? Uh, don't get bogged down in Anki. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.